how high can a drone go? And even the smallest drone go as high as an aircraft. Is there any limitation on the height of the drone? What are the factors governing how high the drone can fly? Let's understand these aspects in detail in our current lecture. Every drone is defined with a maximum service ceiling or the maximum height till which the drone can fly. The service ceiling is the maximum usable altitude of an aircraft. Specifically, it is the density altitude at which flying in a clean configuration, the best rate of climb, airspeed for that altitude, and with all the engines operating and producing maximum continuous power, will produce a given rate of climb. The absolute ceiling is the highest altitude at which an aircraft can sustain level flight. Did you notice that your drone has a rated service ceiling? For example, the DJI Mavic Pro and the new DJI Mavic Air are rated for 16,404 feet. This rating is based almost entirely on the drone's ability to handle air density. Let me explain a little. You are likely aware of how air is denser at sea level than it is up in the clouds. Things that rely on moving wings through the air and the thicker the air, the easier it is to create lift. In simplicity, the thicker the air is, the less battery you need to consume to fly. Also, as you turn, there is more air resistance to affect the change. That is, your drone will be more agile in thicker air. Bottom line, your drone has to work harder and harder and as it goes higher and higher. At least, this is true of how fast it has to spin those propellers. There are other factors to, alt to altitude that both ease the strain and make things difficult. We'll save that for another day. As a general rule, aviation authorities recommend flying below 400 feet or 121 meters AGL in order to avoid possible conflict with manned aircraft, such as airplanes or helicopters. AGL here stands for above ground level or height from the ground or, or earth. I can tell you from experience that the theory of longer battery life in cold weather needs further research to prove. Our point today is that your propellers will be at their most efficient in cold weather, which is great, but if your battery needs extra fast, frosts, or even freezes, that is a catastrophe. What are the factors that limit the service ceiling of the drone? As shown in the figures, Figure, the factors limiting the service ceiling of the drone are decrease in air density to decrease altitude, propellers must rotate faster and the maximum speed of the propeller is reached, battery capacity, ambient temperature, and total efficiency of the model, and the weight. The air pressure decreases with altitude, so the speed of the propeller must be the same, uh, must be at the same thrust increased. The higher the altitude of the drone increases, the faster the propeller must turn. This means that a propeller that rotates at sea level with 8,000 revelations per minute in 2,000 meters altitude about MSL, which is mean sea level height above the sea level with 9102 uh, units per U per minute, must rotate to generate the same static thrust. The speed of the propeller cannot be arbitrarily increased, otherwise, the propeller is damaged. Therefore, care has to be taken as the altitude of the drone increases to avoid any failure of the drone. As we looked at how high the drone goes, we also have to look at how far the drone can go or the range of the drone. As we looked at the endurance in our previous lecture, the range of the drone depends upon the amount of current, endurance, flight speed, and aerodynamic performance of the drone. The range of both the fixed wing and the multi-rotor can be determined using the following factors. The number of revolutions per minute the motor will turn when one volt is applied to the motor, the pitch value of the propeller on the UAV, and the endurance value, which is the amount of time the drone can stay in air. To further accurately calculate the range, we would also need to know the wing area and the weight of the drone also. The figure shows the endurance range and speed of some of the drones that are already available in the market. Students are encouraged to go through these able and also find themselves more details about these particular models. To summarize, we understood the service ceiling of the drone, which is how high the drone can fly. 
this is important because many times pilots have the tendency to take the drone as high as possible due to which sometimes the drone stalls and gets damaged. This is why it is important to know the service ceiling of the drone. We also looked at the range of the drone to understand how far the drone can go. In our next lecture, we will look at the concepts of cruise speed and wind resistance acting on the drone. Thank you.